You've got some guts showing up here. Not really. See, evolution in the herd business don't have an issue. Until now. What it comes down to is you chose the wrong company in more ways than one. And now that decision is going to cost you your Intercontinental Championship. And how is that going to happen? One word. Omas. You don't stand a chance against him. I'm not scared of Omas. Name the time and place, and I'll be there. Hold up. There's no need to rush things. Let's get to know each other a little better. Do our due diligence. What I'm thinking is, first you have a non-title match against Carmelo Hayes. Sound good? Sure. Doesn't matter to me. Because it's all going to end the same. Me walking away intercontinental champion. Okay, Locke. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, Gabe, you know the deal. I want you out there for this match to make sure the Hurt Business doesn't get involved. Got it. Wait, do you really think that's necessary? I can handle myself fine. And what's the worst that can happen anyway? A DQ and I get some shots in on MVP and Omas? Or they get some shots in on you and weaken you before your title match against Omas. Come on, use your head. Gabe, you're going out there with him for that match. I don't want to hear another word. Come on, let's go. Mello is money. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by MVP from Boston, Massachusetts. Weighing in at 210 pounds, Carmelo Hayes. This guy is future star written off. The man destined to be top dog. It's the lock. And his opponent, accompanied by Gabriel Slade from Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 228 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Robert Armstrong. Intercontinental titles don't grow on trees unless you're WWE's new golden boy. Is that ah! jealousy I'm hearing, Corey?
The lock has been handed the keys to WWE. Is he ready to drop? The Lock and Carmelo Hayes are squaring off tonight in a hotly anticipated non-title match between two superstars destined for greatness. The Lock has more than just his IC title with him tonight, as Gabriel Slade will be joining him at ringside. Is Randy Orton losing trust in Lock's ability to get it done all by himself? Or maybe he sent Gabe out to keep an eye on MVP? It's hard to get inside the mind of the Viper. Oh, a strong knee connects. Chest. That's mounted with punches and not. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Soaring, driving the foot stop to the chest. Carmelo now trying to capitalize. Vicious right forearm. Springboard. Oh my God. Oh, that hurt. Now he's been put on the defensive. Oh, by a forearm smash. Uh oh. Harlem sidekick. The flagship show of all WWE, Monday Night Raw. The red brand has been home to so many sports entertainment moments, and tonight might just create a few more of those. Firm control. Oh, catches a kick to the face. Hayes is being cut down at every corner. Yeah, Locke's proving hard to keep up with. Locke sizing him up from the top. Perched up top. Setting it up. Thunderous clothesline. Lifts him up down. Like being manhandled by a bear. Set up in the corner of the ring. The superstar setting up for what now? First on the middle rope. What the world? Looking for the home run. This will end it. Oh, no, 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 don't do it! Yay! Is it enough for the Rock? Cover! Two count! It's over, all in a night's nice work. Here is your winner, Robert Armstrong. This was as dominant a win as I've ever seen, guys. Never a doubt, barely a moment's suspense. This one was about as lopsided as they come.